Hello all. In this video, I will show you how to write the query to find the first day of the current month, first day of the current year, first day of the next year, last day of the current month and last day of the current year. So to solve the query like this, you can simply write the function and that is a trunk function. And here you can provide the current date that is a system date. And here you can round it to the month. So whenever you write month over here, then it will give you first day of the current month. Here you can just write the alias and that is as first day of month. Now, whenever you want the first day of the current year, you can simply copy this and instead of this month, you can simply write year over here. And here you can just give the alias that is first day of year. Now you can simply write the from dual and you can taste so you can simply copy this and you can paste it into oracle sql then you will get the first day of the month that is first december 21 and you will get the first day of the year that is first january 21 now i want to get the first day of the next year so whenever you want the first day of the next year simply add the 12 months to the first day of the current year so you can use here the function and that is add months. So you can simply write here add months and you can add the 12 months over here and you can simply write first day of next year. Now here you can just simply copy this and you can paste it into Oracle. Now here you can get the three things that is first day of the month, first day of the year and first day of the next year. Now I want the last day of the current month and last day of the current year. So you can simply use the function and that is a last day. So you can simply write here last day and you can simply write sys date as last day of month. So it will give you last day of the month, but I want the last day of the current year also. So whenever you want the last day of the current year, you just need to do what? First find the first day of the next year. So I just find it out the first day of the next year minus one will give you the last day of the current year. So you can simply write the alias over here and that is the last day of year. Now you can simply copy this particular query and you can paste it into Oracle SQL. And here you will get the result and the result is what? That is the first day of the month that is 1st December 21. First day of the year that is 1st January 21. First day of the next year, that is 1st January 22. Last day of the month, 31st December 21. And last day of the year, 31st December 21. Let me clear here, that is the today's date over here, and that is 25th December. Based on this, I'm getting the result like this. So this is the way you can find it out the first day of the current month and current year. Last day of the current month and current year. So that's it from my side. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.